Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at Matt Sokol, the tight end from Michigan State. This is from 2017 against Northwestern. And this is such a fun play just outside of evaluating Sokol. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of little drama going on with this particular play on this first and goal here. So let's take a look at what's going on. First, you know this is going to be a long developing play. Why? Because when the quarterback turns his back away from the defense, there's going to be a lot of things happening. You got the play fake with full extension. You got a second play fake to the end of round. Sokol's trying to work across the formation and then work upfield to catch this ball. And he near he gets his hands on it, but it's knocked away right there. So close. And you got to appreciate the effort he has to make here because you watch him as he works across here. Here comes the end. The end's going to try and cut him right here. Sokol's able to get skinny, turn away, and get upfield. And he immediately looks for the ball. This is really nice. Really good effort here knowing that he's probably a little behind the curve here. And the quarterback, of course, makes a nice effort getting the ball out with some anticipation, knowing that the defender is going to be in his chest. So all of that's really cool. You know, it's a, that's a cool play. I like the tracking up to this point. The problem is, is that now he has a choice about right here. Does he begin to track the ball with his head looking directly up and tracking it directly over his head, which is one of the most difficult tracking situations for a receiver tight end or running back in football doing it directly over your head things that i think you know i remember seeing fred bolitnikoff do way back in the 70s and late 60s i believe um for the oakland raiders very difficult catch usually they like to track it over his shoulder so he's tracking it over the shoulder but the ball's arriving over his left shoulder his outside shoulder at this point and he's gonna have to make a decision does he track it directly over his head or does he try and turn his his back all the way to the end line so that he can track it while retreating and have his chest open to the ball? The problem is, is that if he has his chest over open to the ball, it's also going to be open to the defender. And here's the defender right here trailing. Unless there's a defender you know, directly over top, this is the type of route where you just, you know, if you're not in line with where the ball's arriving, you're not tracking it over the correct shoulder, you need to track it overhead. This needs to stay overhead so that he can keep his back to the defender. This is a very difficult play for a receiver and an advanced play for a college player, really. Because at this point, he's just trying to catch the ball He's trying to just get in position so that he can extend for it and keep his eyes on it. But if, you know, this is a situation where for a great tight end, a great receiver, a great running back who can catch out of the backfield, the difference between what Sokol did and what he should do is tracking it over the head and because then he can shield this defender. But having to track it over a shoulder like this and he turns this way. Now he's opened himself up. And there's the defender's hand. There goes the ball. Really tough play. Fun play to watch, you know. But it, these are the little things that spell the difference between a player who can give you good production and someone who does some special work. And, you know, it's not just one play that makes the difference for all of this. It's a layer of little details like this over and over when you watch tape that spell that difference. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.